Hi guys and welcome back to NZ Cruiser. Today we're going to be installing a couple of things on our on our Land Cruiser. Uh, we have uh, two boxes from Adventure Kings. We've got our uh, nine-inch spotlights and our smart harness, which is a really easy plug-and-play system for the lights. And then over here we've got a package from Rotorack. Rack. So um, over here we've got our uh, backbone uh, mounting system, our Pioneer Trady rack, and our Sunseeker awning. So this is our spotlights from Adventure Kings. So in here we have two nine inch spotlights, comes with a warranty card. Uh, we've got a 12 month warranty, it's great. Come disassembled, so we're just gonna have to assemble those. So you've got your lights, you've got your mounting hardware, so your bolts, and then your brackets. And this, if you don't buy the um, if you don't buy the smart harness, these are the plugs that they come with, and you've just got to wire it into your own harness yourself. So that's what comes in here, and just yeah, a little bit of uh, some, some mounting pads as well for your the bottom of your brackets. All right, so that's the uh, that's that. Next up, we've got our um, plug and play harness. So there we go. There, it's right there. Um, up in the top here. So here we've got. Our selection of um, plugs, so for different cars you've got different plugs and I think they've provided the um, the Toyota and the Nissan plugs. So here we've got our Toyota or H, your standard H4 plug. So um, this one goes into your bulb, this one goes into your car and then that one goes to the smart harness. Same here we've got um, which is normally in your Nissans or in, in other other cars, you've got your um, the plug here. Again, uh, one goes into the bulb, one goes into the car, one goes into the harness. And for those cars that are 24 volt, uh, like your, some of your patrols and things, uh, we've got a 24 volt um, uh, solenoid. Uh, sorry, relay, relay. So um, pull out the smart harness here. So here it is, so you've got your switch, you got your plug like I showed earlier, the um, spotlights for your, um, for your lights. That goes onto your battery, so you've got, you've got your negative and your positive, and that goes into this here. So you can then plug that in there. Fine. But you get the idea. Like that. Um, and then in, inside here, Back. Inside here, um, it has the uh, re uh, the 12 volt relay, which is just here. So obviously this is a 12 volt car, so this is a 12 volt relay or 14 volt relay because when the vehicle is running and it's charging, it goes to 14 volt. But it will work with 12 volt as well, obviously. So there's a smart harness. Um, the rest in here, just. Um, Splits, there's your splitter, so that goes to you from here, which is obviously the same as these ones, uh, goes to your two lights. So wherever you put those, um, ours is going to be on the front of the vehicle, um, just on this ball bar here, so um, until we upgrade. But uh, yeah, there we go, so that's the smart harness. Alright, now we're going to do um, our backbone. mounting system for the runner rack. So this is the backbone itself. Quite a nice looking piece of uh, kit. So this uh, goes this 
way. Mounts onto the roof of your car. So you've got your, for us, these are our, um, our gutter mounts, on, uh, or our rack mounts. So they'll bolt onto the holes on the top of the car. And then this is where your um, rack will mount. And this will probably be the driver's this side. That's it. That's it. And then the box here, they've provided just all the mounting hardware necessary for, for those. I know. Let's move on to the big one. We'll do our, we'll do our awning at the end. There we go. The um, uh, roof rack. So this is the Pioneer, Pioneer Tradie rack. There you go, you have it. Mounting hardware again. Pieces. Bit of protection. Guessing packaging might have been spread out at one point. <laughs> but it's all moved around. There we go. Mounting hardware. Uh, probably some bits and pieces in here as well. Brackets and bolts and such. Um, covers. Yep. Yeah. There. And um, yeah, there's your, your rack. That's your Pioneer Trading. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty spiffy. And uh, thanks to Rhino Rack. Great product. Last but not least, our awning. hold down the wind and just in the box here all your mounting hardware to mount it to the rack itself some strings as well for your awning again goes with the pegs just to hold it down so there you go I reckon we should probably uh, get into installing this alright guys so we're just going to assemble these um, so we've got our King's lights again, like I said, our nine inch spotlights. Um, comes with some hardware, which is, some, which is great. We've got our, um, our Allen keys also come with it, so we can actually assemble it. Uh, and what's great about it is, in this packet here, we've got our screws and bolts for this one light here. And then we've got the same in this for this light here. And they've actually included another set of Allen keys. So if you actually lose this set, like that, you know where the other set is. So um, yeah, we'll get into assembling it. So there you have it. So that's how you assemble that. But in case you didn't quite catch it, I'll run it through with you. So you've got your light here. You've got your mounting bracket here. All right. Uh, what it comes with as well is um, just some plastic shims that go between the, uh, the light and the bracket, just so you don't get any unwanted um, metal to metal contact rubbing between your light and your bracket. And the best way I find to, um, to assemble this is you just put your bracket uh, shims just there on, as they sit. Slide that on to your bracket like that. Get one of your mounting bolts. 
shove that in there. Now, don't worry, don't put the washers on just yet. You can if you want to, but I find it a bit easier not to. Just so the plastic shims don't fall out. Another one on the other side. Shove that in there just like that. Just so they're loosely, so now it's not gonna fall out. And then what you do now is you get your um, hardware, your um, another mounting bolt, and you assemble it in a uh, spring washer washer configuration, so that your normal washer is always on the bottom. Uh, for two reasons: you don't want the spring washer uh, garking out the bracket, and um, second of all, the spring washer is actually not big enough to cover the area on the adjuster so it will probably end up falling in and not actually working properly in the first place. But on most applications, you usually just put a washer, a flat washer in between the head of the screw or bolt and the um, mounting, uh, and the wa uh, spring washer. Yeah, if you put a spring washer between, there, yeah, those two. Just because otherwise, you know, you're gonna get a bit of, um, yeah, unwanted garking and it's just a bit nicer. So, yep, so we go to the other side now. Do the same thing, spring washer, get your flat washer, and just put that in there. Now we just quickly take this one out, get our spring washer, and our flat washer again, and just shove that back in. And the good thing is, is now we've got our adjustment, uh, height adjustment or angle adjustment screw in there, um, the shim's not going to fall out when we take our big one out. And um, yeah, so we do the same again, spring washer, flat washer, and then into the light. And now just tighten them up. Now don't go too tight because you are wanting to gonna to want to adjust them when they're on the vehicle. But just to um, set you up so you just got a bit of pretension, bit of bit of a and go in there so you got that like that and then you just kinda of move your adjustment so it sits just like that. So there you go, so that's assembling there. Uh, next our next step will be um, actually mounting to the vehicle. And again, provided in with the uh, Adventure Kings uh, kit there is some nice wee pads. Now, unfortunately I don't think we're going to be able to use those, these pads on our, system, uh, our setup. We might actually uh, cut them just to make them work, um, although I'm not a big fan of that either. Um, but yeah, so those there, they sit just under there, like that. So then again, you don't have that metal on metal rubbing, which is not a good thing. Um, a lot of the time that can cause, um, especially with steel, uh, you can cause your powder coating or your paint to come off and then that can cause rust and um, rust is not good because it doesn't really last very long when it starts to rust. So um, that's what that's for, good. Um, the great thing about Adventure King products um, is they're cheap but they're also made out of quality material. Um, you know, and it's quite surprising at how durable and how good quality these things are, especially for their price. Um, this is their basics, uh, basic range. Um, it didn't cost us too much. Uh, it actually was a birthday present from my wife, which was quite nice. Um, and I think it ended up costing about $150, um, including the smart harness, which we'll show you in a minute. All right, so now we're gonna be mounting these uh, to the vehicle. So provided again uh, in the kit is our mounting bolts. So what we'll be doing here is we'll just be getting, again, our rubber, um, our rubber separator get our bolt, we'll slide that through there and then we'll sit that on the vehicle there. Now a lot of vehicles are different and a lot of mounting situations will be different. Um, in this instance it's only a small a small mounting space um, as you can see here um, and it's not going to accommodate the full pad. However I don't really want to cut the pad um, as I discussed earlier, just because 
I will be getting a new bar um, later and I really want to be able to keep that pad for that but I also don't want to be scratching the bottom of my bracket so in that case I will be just sitting this in there and it probably will just hang down but at least it will be fine and in one piece so there we go there we go Now setting up your spotlights is completely up to you on how you want to do that. A lot of people want to have them spread out that way so they can see side to side. A lot of people want to have them set uh, straight on so they've got um, they're going straight down the road. Now it just really depends on also what lenses you have on your vehicle. I mean uh, this one is a pencil beam uh, but you can get a flood cover for the, um, for the light so it can just disperse the light a bit nicer um, wherever you're going. So um, a lot of hunters will use um, a floodlight to see um, the, what's around them and then use a pencil beam usually on a handheld spotlight to do their um, do their aiming and their shooting but um, for what we want just for cruising uh, at the moment we're just going to have these pencil beams on the front and then eventually we'll, we will have a, um, a light bar or some spotlights on the roof so um, yeah we'll just do a wee peel off here There you go. And now we're just going to tighten them up. Alright, and now we've mounted our spotlights onto the vehicle. We can kind of just gauge where we want our, our um, aiming to be. So you just use your Allen key. Um, just to loosen these off on both sides and then you can just aim where you want that to be so I'm gonna just aim that one about there and then once you've got it to the spot you want just tighten that up nice and tight so it won't move. Now make sure you loosen up your bolts when you before you uh, try to adjust it as you can end up uh, scratching the paint off the side of the bracket. Unfortunately, I have scr scratched a little bit off in my mounting process, but just try your best to avoid that in yours. So there you have it. Um, they're now, uh, now mounted onto the vehicle, and now we're gonna be using our smart harness here and wiring that in. It's a really nice and easy plug and play solution um, provided to you by Adventure Kings and it's a system that is actually works across the range of their lights so um, you can use your smart harness for your spotlights um, you can also use a smart harness for the light bar um, it's, just a, it's a system that just yeah, works across the board with whatever uh, lights you've actually bought um, so that's why it comes with a single plug which is the same as what's on the back of the light and then um, the adapter uh, and it comes with the adapter that splits the signal into two um, which we'll be using for these lights So there you have it, the lights work, all wired up, should be good. We'll do some night testing, um, but yeah, that's a nice easy way of uh, installing some spotlights and cost effective. Um, there will be some extra bits and pieces I want to tidy up, but I'll do that off camera. But there we go, and uh, next up we'll be putting on our riff rack. Alright guys, time for the fun part. We're going to be installing our Rhino Rack Pioneer Tradie Tray. Um, 
flat phone system and Sunseeker awning. Now, before you install this yourself, make sure you read the instructions thoroughly or go to your local recommended um, installer. Uh, for Christchurch in the Canterbury area, it is opposite lock and we highly recommend going to see those guys. They will do things for a really good price and they will do a good quality job. Um, so first of all, we're going to get started by installing our uh, backbone. Um, first of all, we've got, these, uh, we've got some caps up here that we're going to take off. Um, then we've got to put some stickers on, um, just a, some waterproof stickers that will seal between the backbone itself and the car so no water will get in. And then um, we'll be mounting this. So let's uh, get to it. Make sure to thoroughly clean around the holes after you take the covers and the bolts out from the holes and you put the stickers that seal between the uh, backbone and the uh, car because you just want to make sure that that's going to seal really, really well. Um, if you don't, the seal won't work and it, you'll end up getting water inside your car and that's just not ideal. Righto, so um, our backbone uh, system is on now, ready for the roof rack to be mounted. Uh, before we put our roof rack on, uh, we need to assemble the um, mounting system onto our roof rack as well. So we'll get onto that and then it'll be time to put it on. Alright guys, so we've um, mounted in our, our mounting supports here. Um, I'm just going to show you how to put it on. First of all, you slide it down into this rail. And then up into here, slide it across, and you grab one of your your um, bolts and nuts here, nuts and bolts, and then slide that up, shove that in, and carefully screw it in. So after you've put the studs through, you want to be putting on these covers. And now what you do is you put the, uh, the cover on holding the stud from behind, put the washer on, and put your nylock over top of it. Then for these other ones, they've already got a bit of a um, nut in the, in the bar already. So what you do is you cover, put the cover on, put your Allen, Allen key bolt through with your um, spring washer and flat washer, just tighten them up. Alright, 
right, we're all set, ready to uh, offer it up to the car and make sure it fits. Um, just make sure you haven't tightened all of the bolts up uh, because you want to be able to move things around if it's not quite right. Um, but yeah, we should be all good to go. Alright, so um, now we've got the uh, Pioneer Trady rack in place, we can now go ahead and start tightening everything up. Uh, we've already started tightening some things up just so we know it's not going to move. Um, but now everything that's in place, yeah, we just go through, tighten everything up, button it up so we know it's not going to come off when we're going off the trails or down the road. Alright guys, so before we run out of sunshine, let's uh, put on our sun seeker. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing a real quick install. Basically we've got <coughs> our brackets here. They'll be mounting to our rack, just on here. And then our awning will be mounting to that. Nice and easy. So the great thing about these rhino rack systems is they're basically like Lego. So you attach your brackets to your sunset awning and then the rails, there's little slots and you can slot your um, bolts in, they've got square heads on them into the place that you want them to go. Then you just take your awning, place it in the spot that you want it to be, move about there, and then move everything into place. Now it's all offered up to the car, we can now again align it to where we want it by moving these brackets into, uh, into the right place. I'm happy with that there, are you happy with that there? Excellent. And now we just tighten it up. So there you have it guys, one set of spotlights, one Rhino Rack, uh, Pioneer Trady Tray, and one Sunseek awning, all installed. And yes, it's taken a wee while, the sun is on its way down, but let's face it, at least we did it ourselves. If you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell as we don't upload regularly and follow us on social media we'd also like to thank the companies that are supporting us at the moment their information can be found over here thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one